So this story has fully blown up on the internet. We got Asmund Gold responding. We also got the story about an update on the story of why Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch. We got XQC. We got Hasana B. We also apparently got Nick Merck's clip that I want to play for you. We also got Charlie responding. And this rabbit hole is going very, very deep. Like the scholars are baffled. This story is bigger than that of Area 51 and the aliens as well. And you know what? If you are into conspiracies like that, I have a second channel where we cover all of this news okay but like this video if you think evidence is a must for claims like that that there needs to be an evidence if you're making claims that dr disrespect was trying to meet up with a minor uh, doing kind of like the edp the, yeah people are treating him like edp right now like the video if you think we need evidence to support these claims dislike the video if you should just believe it because right now a lot of people are beefing on the right people are saying hey we need evidence which you know what i i i agree that's fair we we need evidence for that uh, to be to believe what, what's going on right it's insanity on the left people are like nah bro like we should believe it doc did it he did it he did it he did it right and, and there are a lot of conspiracies people are really really assuming a lot of stuff but before i show you guys the update check out what nick said bro. yo yo checking in uh look i open twitter <sighs> bunch of my mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they, fucking, I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. Yeah, a tech chopper. Okay. Uh, and I seen, I seen the, the couple damn. tweets about the doc. I, I'm, I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But yeah. the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Big yeah. time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence what are we talking about what's anybody yeah. talking about now, as far as the leave little kids alone stuff this doesn't make it any further from the truth yeah leave, leave little children yeah. out of your shit yeah have a nice yeah leave them kids alone so nick marks w on that one and i do agree we need evidence and this is what charlie said rolled names but with a handful of other people coming forward saying they heard a similar reason behind his ban it's got a lot of people believing that it must yeah. be accurate mm. now if it is true it does also make twitch look pretty bad here in my opinion because this is a situation hit, that right? deals with child safety on their platform and if the story is that like apparently if 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 it's real listen there's no evidence for it you would expect like at least uh, a screenshot a dm leak right nothing also what a lot of people are uh, are also saying is that where was this leak why didn't we hear about like dr disrespect trying to do edp stuff behind the scenes and do the pdf files type of stuff right like four years ago when he was first banned understandable yeah why now why is it leaking out now where are the receipts we got no receipts so you would expect at least a dm because what they're saying is that dr disrespect was using a whisper feature on twitch uh to those of you that do not use twitch i don't necessarily use that much although i have an account there sometimes streams very infrequently but the the, the feature is basically dms the pm basically it's a feature for messaging right so you're saying dr disrespect i mean they're saying that he was using that feature to meet up with a minor at TwitchCon. Guys, don't be at TwitchCon, man. That's like a source of all evil. That's where all of the all of the bad stuff goes down, apparently, right? Not saying I believe what, what's going on. We need evidence, clearly. But that's what they're saying. Now, the reason Twitch looks bad in this one is because, like, they were, if this is to be believed, they were spying on Dr. Disrespect. Not necessarily on him, but generally, right? And I believe, like, they shouldn't be. That's kind of like the law. They, they shouldn't be. But now everybody's finding out that, oh my god, like, oh my god, my messages are not private. Tough love. Yeah, man, as soon as you get a smartphone, bro, as soon as you get a smartphone, your life is no longer private, all right? It, it, it's not, but people believe, oh, man, everything is private. Now, nah, nothing is private as soon as you get that, that, that smartphone, right? But wait for it. If the face of their platform was sexting a minor through their whispers service, I think Twitch has a responsibility to explain what they're going to do going forward to ensure that kind of shit doesn't happen again. Though I guess there could again be some real fucky nonsense in the legal proceedings that followed. I, I have no clue, really. But in the event that it is true, it still makes it seem like Twitch was covering up for the face of their platform being a predator.
and that's not yeah. a good look for Twitch. Holy. So I guess it's also po Yo, thank you for subscribing. possible it. that Twitch wanted to bury this as well to not take some kind of reputational hit in the public eye. I, especially, I guess, during 2020 when Mixer was around. So I, I guess that's possible. I do, however, think now- Yeah, it, it's it's uh, really, really messed up right now, right? The situation is very, very sucky because uh, there is no receipts, no evidence, but this thing is coming out of ex-Twitch guy, and a lot of people are believing it. Yeah, a lot of people, whether you believe it or not, that's- I guess up to you. I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm in the middle, right? I feel like that we need evidence because these claims are crazy. But what's true here is that whether you believe it or not believe it, it's ruining his reputation. Absolutely is. And that, that sucks. That sucks. Whether you're a fan of his or you don't like him or you don't watch him, I barely watch him. Whenever he's in the news, yeah, we'll cover it, we talk about it. I do like his character that he built up with, with the 80s mustache and, you know, the, the tactical gear that he wears. And yeah, like, he got uh, a good thing going on. I mean, good for the guy, right? Yeah, that, but I don't necessarily watch his stuff that much, okay? But 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 it's it's sad that it is without evidence that's still ruining his reputation. If the evidence is... 100% and it proves the point that he was really trying to meet up with a minor. Oh, absolutely, it would be deserved. Absolutely. Now that this allegation has come out, whether it's true or false, I think this is going to be the start of the information around the ban coming forward, either from Twitch or Dr. Disrespect here, because this is such a massive allegation. So yeah. someone's going to come forward to set the record straight one way or the other is what I think will probably happen here, but I could be totally wrong. It could be another four- It, it needs to be in the coming coming uh, days, right? It has to be. Four fucking years before there's even a peep about the Dr. Disrespect Twitch ban mystery. But uh, something I've seen a lot of other people talking about is they're surprised that Twitch was reading whispers in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone should be caught off guard by that. In the current day and age, everything you send through any service can easily be accessed by that service and is most likely being accessed by that service. All of your data is constantly being harvested and sold. Yeah, and that's uh, that's one of the other things that people are talking about, that maybe it's real that Dr. Disrespect was trying to meet up with the miner. Also, a lot of people are saying that it was a thirst trap, but if the... Uh, the chick was lying about the age and doc you know got mesmerized Bruh. or whatever word you want to use it okay and he was texting and later on when he found out that she was uh, not 18 he pumped the brakes as fast as he could like <laughs> but it was kind of like too late and twitch was reading it and, and that's the thing though this is look gonna look very very bad if it comes out and we find out officially that Twitch was reading into the whispers and all that, right? It happens all the time. Facebook has been in like a, 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 a pool of trash with it and we had so many files and so many conspiracies uh, that came true about it too. Yeah, basically put whatever you send on the internet, it's forever, so. Like, it, I thought everyone knew that by this point. So in this case, Twitch having access to the whispers and reading them and then taking action from them isn't like an unheard of concept yeah. at yeah, yeah. all. It's just a matter of not, that's the reality of what happened. If this is yeah. a- and, and check this, this is what happened. Sorry, Roland. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been propped and settled. Nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found and I was paid. This has not stopped people from, you know, calling him a groomer or like a PDF file. People on Twitter jumped on this so quickly. Like the allegations dropped and two seconds later, they were already calling him the worst thing imaginable. And that's not like us and other YouTube- Yeah, it's insane. People are already comparing him to EDP, bro. Like, just YouTubers that have talked wild. about this. Where we wait, we talk about it, we speculate, we throw out our theories, but we don't say anything's definitive. That's one thing. Another thing has been like, he is a groomer, he has a PDF file, burn him alive. Treating it <laughs> as a fact. Now, what do I think of this? I definitely do think this is a much better response than the first one. First one left yeah. so much. Even his second response is uh, not looking that good. But the first response, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of people were talking about, hey, yo, what, what do you mean by no wrongdoing found, right? Does that mean that you were doing it and uh, it was not found? Yeah, so a lot of people were also talking about it. And still, his second response isn't the best, but it's better. Uh, that that I do agree with. And, and it's, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, hey, how hard is it? to just simply say I didn't try to 
meet with a miner, right? Like, how hard is it? How hard is that to say? Uh, but but Doc is just uh, toying around with it. He's not directly saying that, and that's why a lot of people are believing he did it. Yeah, that's why a lot of people are believing as well. Uh, but but he's using the uh, I guess NDA or let's just say legal because he sued Twitch and he won money from it. He got money from it. A lot of people are also saying, hey, he didn't do anything wrong because why would he be paid? Why would he just win the lawsuit? Yeah, right. But but here's the thing though, we do not know what the lawsuit was for. Nobody knows. It's like one of those secrets like Area 51 level secrecy, okay? There is just insane secrecy around it and nobody knows what's going on. Much room for a conversation to happen. Why are you, you know, using legal terms and legal wording? Did he do something and you can't say it or you know what I mean? It was such a weird response that even the die hard, like hard capital H fans of his were like yo doctor I love you but that wasn't it the public seems 70 30 split the top reply says crazy how shit used to be innocent till proven guilty but now no, it's, it's guilty, guilty. to proven innocent yeah. 16,000 yeah. likes and then Keemstar says bro what won't you say and I quote hmm. I was not talking to a minor trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon like it was alleged so yeah that just don't go to TwitchCon man like forget that 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 thing exists so many like horror stories came out of Twitch Dog. It's something else Don't I want it. to point out. I know that he had the lawsuit with Twitch. And I'm sure, you know, like he said, he did get paid. So maybe there's certain things that he just cannot talk about. But I could see why people would be like, why not just flat out say I didn't do anything with a minor mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of using all of these other legal terms. And I think mm -hmm. until he completely comes out and says, no, I was not talking to a minor and, and trying to meet with them over at TwitchCon. I think until that happens, until it's cut and dry, right? Definitive, people are not going to stop asking stop wondering you know he did say i didn't do anything wrong i don't think until he flat out says that people are going to stop asking yeah. and wondering is he did he do it but he got and, and even now if he says it people have already formed their opinion so it's gonna be very very hard to convince them otherwise I, i'm of the belief that hey we need like that cutthroat evidence we need the 100 percent evidence for uh, to to believe that like this this is absolutely wild yeah like the other guy said in the comments it's uh it used to be innocent till proven guilty now it's your now it's that you're guilty till you're proven proven innocent how many times we have seen people lives being messed around with how many times we have seen people losing their gigs their jobs their their the, the projects that they were working on for example johnny depp yeah the johnny depp situation was holy hell that was absolutely insane how many times we have seen crap like that happen yeah absolute insanity right so we really the system now is that you you are guilty till you're proven proven innocent and think about it for a second now does anybody can come out and accuse you and it's like if their post blows up on the internet and they get most amount of likes people are gonna believe it yeah there is no accountability you don't need to provide any evidence whatsoever it, it we're, we're really living in insane times right now away with it you know all of these other questions his settlement with twitch will allow him to specifically say that but him saying i did nothing wrong covers it why don't you ask twitch what is going on they're never going to answer <laughs> If there was a crime committed, why didn't they report it to the police? Maybe they're also at fault. This is something that I did say. I was like, well, if Twitch knew, they're covering up for a potential crime. If all of this turned out to be true, they're as guilty as Dr. Disrespect. And Twitch banned him to avoid a PR disaster. They're as guilty because they're covering up for him. And they still paid him. I'm not saying Dr. Disrespect should be thrown in jail and banned. No, I, I don't think so. I, that's just crazy to say or think. None of them are going to talk about it. So it's always going to be a mystery on why he got banned. Yeah. But this is something that's always going to stick. If anybody, any scholar, any detective in the chat watching this video, is there any expiration date on NDA? I think it is. I, yeah, I think there is. I've signed like a couple of NDAs. Well. That, that was such a bright moment. There are expiration dates. But here's the thing though. Uh, yeah, my question. Okay, better question would be is is there any ndas without any expiration date the reason i'm asking this is because like if doc is really on an nda when is it gonna expire if he is 
Or maybe he's not on NDA, this is like a real legal thing where, for example, if tomorrow he breaks it, Twitch can sue him and then he's gonna lose money and, and it's gonna be a really, real insane thing. He can come out tomorrow or he can come out like 10 years from now and it's gonna be the same thing. Maybe it's gonna be the same thing. Maybe he comes out 10 years from now, spill the beans and get sued because he shouldn't have spilled the beans. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, right, if any... Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm not a I'm not a lawyer or anything. Any lawyer watching the video, man? To him, people will watch. Because yeah, uh, yeah, in the last video we covered that story from a lawyer. I will link you because a lawyer was believing that Doc is guilty. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, I showed you that. Those of you that saw the last video and you got to that point in the video, yeah, there's a lawyer that apparently believes that law that that Doc actually did something. Now a lot of people do believe something happened, but he believes that he did something in the aspects of meeting with a minor so wonder why isn't he talking about it even though we know why he can't well why isn't twitch saying anything about it and it's just a mess it's just something that's going to stick with him for a while but wait it's not over yet do you guys remember the twitch employee the former twitch employee who got the whole crazy allegations going he got 30 million impressions on this Holy he switched hell. his yeah. bio and now it says getting sued any second now <laughs> If I was Dr. Disrespect and these allegations were false, I would a billion percent sue, sue. the person yeah, for yeah, slander, yeah. for damages. Yeah, and, and Doc got all the money as well. So, it, it, and he has sued Twitch in the past as well. So, I'm sure how, he knows how that works. So, go for it. Absolutely. If anything else my lawyer could, uh, could help me out with. Legitimately, being a PDF file is the worst thing thing you can possibly be so if it does turn out that this guy right here is just spreading lies yeah i hope he absolutely gets sued to the fucking ground the former absolutely. twitch employee who said dr disrespect was caught sexing a minor has previously been using this information in an attempt to sell tickets to his shows this guy oh man yeah i heard that like he was trying to sell tickets to his own show what a rat oh. yeah right that uh, so uh, yeah, and that's the thing though people are believing it people and the reason people are believing it is because it got a lot of likes and RTs retweets I mean and, and he's also an ex twitch guy that I, I guess that's the main reason and doc kind of fumbled it Maybe doc was like doing something. He didn't necessarily read all what was happening on Twitter's x.com right and he responded to Jake lucky and he didn't understand what was truly going on and because his first response is the main reason why a lot of people are believing he did it he did it right but his second response was way better where he said that i did nothing wrong and it's good that he put it out there but i believe that that should have been his first first response but maybe he tweeted out without fully understanding what was going on on twitter behavior and here we have some tweets and uh yeah this is him and this is a tweet from last year he says listen if all three dates sell out i'll tell you why he got banned i don't know Bruh. using a minor allegedly once again it's almost just proven but yeah you know for the sake of this yeah yeah, yeah. i now i have a hard time believing his claims oh absolutely this context you seeing a minor being you know through a horrible situation as a way to sell tickets is gross <laughs> But it's weird and even disgusting at that point. Like, really, you're going to use someone's situation, allegedly of something that happened. You're going to use that to promote your shitty band, your shitty mm. music career. And here's another tweet. Gamer friends, if you're from the East Coast, you should come to one of my shows. That's a 500 person capacity. We're like at 90% on pre-sale. If the show sells out, I'll 100% explain why we banned him during the set. Once again... Now, if I'm not mistaken, that tweet that he posted was from 2020 so last year and his new tweet is just from uh, just a couple of days ago so does that mean that he actually sold it <laughs> like was the was uh, was he able to sell all the tickets just using the whole situation to get attention to his shitty band and listen he could have the greatest band of all time but using this as a selling point is kind of pathetic Oh, it lame. Is. I don't know. It just it is not kind of pathetic. It is fully pathetic, bro. Fucking weird. So his credibility is already getting kind of burned. Well, not kind of burned. It, it, it is all flame right is. now. <laughs> it definitely yeah, does yeah. help Dr. Disrespect. But but the sad reality is that like people are believing the initial 
There was a very good study done. I was watching a very intellectual video. Bruh. Yeah, I know me. I was watching an intellectual video. Unheard of, right? Now, I was watching a very intellectual video, and the guy was uh, bringing up, like, sources, articles, and studies. And the studies basically said that whenever these rumors spread like that, people are willing to... Whatever it was the first news, the first, you know, what? whatever was the first headlines, the breaking news... People are willing to believe that more versus uh, the, the secondary news. Because eventually, I think, it's we're going to get the conclusion. And the conclusion is either going to be he's guilty or not guilty. So let's just say, let's assume the best here. The, we, we got the full, full conclusion from officials, uh, from Twitch or whatever. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get that. But let's just assume the best here that we get the official answer. And it's that he didn't do anything and Doc is not guilty, right? People are still gonna believe the initial, generally speaking, most people. The the, the normies, they're gonna believe the initial response, which, uh, it, it's it, it's sad. It, it genuinely sad. Back to look a lot better. And even and even the YouTuber Deactman is getting into it, and he says, It is sure popular these days to throw out baseless accusations against people with zero evidence, huh? This guy is a serial... Yeah, what? Yeah, 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 whoa, 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 hey, 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 cannot say that on YouTube, bro. Uh, grape is by the ah! way. So right here, talking about the same thing that I just talked about, and someone responded with, No, I'm done. You're defending a PDF file. I'm tired of seeing you associate with shitty human beings. And then the guy blocked him. Now, I don't know if he's a oh grape you know, I'm just reading tweets right now, okay? I'm just showing you guys. Man, Twitter is insane. It's like, uh, no, nah, you're wrong. wrong. After that, you block them. So you don't hear their explanation. <laughs> Yeah, right, like, what the... Man, Twitter was a mistake. I love the platform regardless, though. I, I love it, like, but I don't tweet that much anymore, anymore. But I'm on it, absolutely. If you guys got Twitter, maybe I'll tweet again. If you guys got Twitter, I would definitely look too heavy there, okay? And also, the, 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 the second channel where we push the, uh, all the, the UFO, UFOs and conspiracies. Guys, the context, because I did say... If we get an update, I will definitely, you know, make a follow-up video. So yeah, this guy, Cody Connors, using an alleged situation between a minor and Fort Clout and to sell out tickets to his shitty ass band is definitely bold move i love going to concerts i travel across the world to see some bands and i have never been to a concert and they were like yo guys you know what if you get our t-shirt we will talk about why we kicked our former bases out of the band we're gonna do it mid set <laughs> yeah, yeah. so uh, make sure you don't go anywhere and you know buy our t-shirts and common cop says so twitch apparently had direct access to messages proving dr disrespect sexted a minor and slasher had access to credible sources to report this story but, but both, both failed yeah. to publicly alert anyone and remained silent for years if yeah. everyone knew and they didn't say yeah basically breslow said that back in 2020 look for several hours now i have been told from credible sources the reason dr disrespect has been banned however due to the importance and sensitivity around this subject i have rep refrained from going on it i don't feel comfortable with it currently 2024 he says i didn't lie in response to cody the ex guy uh the ex twitch guy that people are believing and, and the, the same guy that's selling concert tickets now anything concert. they're guilty <laughs> how could you call out anyone when you knew the information and you didn't do anything about it you just let it go this is one of those situations where it's just weird all around weird stuff with the doc we got weird stuff with the guy exposing him and you know revealing this crazy information to the world it seems like this is where the story ends yeah the and we, we definitely are gonna get more more uh, from the story and i'll definitely keep you in the loops guys check out this video on the screen we recently done it because yeah this is now blowing up i'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not if you already seen it then check out the video on the left but i'll see you there